I kind of touched on the pandemic thing. This is such, it's been such a predominant thing for these kids because our class was so affected by it. We were probably the most affected by this, the pandemic, than any other class. These kids went from their beginning band year, I know you guys remember, learning how to play an instrument, it getting cut short, not being able to do the spring concert. The next year they have to wear masks and put on bell covers and separate by six feet. They can only play for 30 minutes in a room, blah, 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 blah. There's just so many rules that were involved with this. But all those rules were really just designed to try to keep our kids safe. Uh, we never had any transmission in band class, and no, no kid passed it to another kid, COVID that is. Um, but uh, they did a tremendous job and they really toughed it out. And when I talk to band directors all across the country, it is quite the opposite of their predicament. They're, they had kids quit, I mean, they, they dropped 70% in numbers. It's, it's devastating to the programs. Uh, this is a fluke. Like, this is not normal for what's happening all across the country, which is very unfortunate that it is happening. But these kids have really toughed this out. They don't realize how much effort and how much energy they've had to put into this. Uh, to really make it happen. Uh, and so last year, uh, it was tough. They played in the, the back gym, we recorded our concerts and stuff like that, and I'm sure you guys watched them on YouTube. Um, but they did such a great job, and I never heard anybody complaining. Uh, it, it was just a tremendous effort by them. Uh, and it's very rare that you run into middle school kids who are willing to put themselves, like, put others before themselves, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Because really they thought, I need to do this for the group, I need to work for the band. Uh, and that's really the attitude that they had all last year, uh, and it's been the attitude that they've had this year too. So I greatly appreciate the efforts, and they deserve an absolute round of applause. So if you don't mind, give them a round of applause. Too. I'm extremely proud of them, and you guys should be too. Uh, we do have some individuals to talk about uh, this evening as well that have kind of gone above and beyond what is required of their normal band class. Uh, and I'm going to talk about all region members uh, right now. These individual students competed against uh, several hundred of other students for a position in the all region band this year. And we were lucky last year we got to do all region but it was all virtual and it was lame. It was awful. Uh, <laughs> to be very frank. But this year they got to do it in person, they got to be a part of the clinic, they learned a whole concert in about two and a half days, or maybe one and a half days. Uh, and they did super, super great, so I want to recognize these people. Uh, so if you would, please stand when I call your name. Sorry, they didn't know I was doing this. Uh, Jay Lee Bonner, Uriel Lagunas, Kira Ferguson, Miley Wood, J.D. Delgado, Sullivan Shepard, Bryce Hutchins, and Grayson McQueen. Round of applause for all of you. They did a super great job. I was really proud of them. I didn't make it a requirement. Sometimes in eighth grade, I make it a requirement. But after the pandemic, uh, I felt like it was just not really a good thing to require that out of them because it was a lot of work. Uh, and the music was very, very tough. So they, they worked really hard to make it into that. I appreciate their efforts, too. Our next song uh, is one of the songs that we would have played at our concert assessment had I not gotten deathly ill that day and actually couldn't show up even to work at all. It was awful. But this is Bizarre by Randall Stanage.
To recognize some of our other students that went above and beyond this year, we have some solo and ensemble participants. These kids got a chance to prepare a solo or an ensemble, like a duet or trio, um, and they got to perform in front of a judge, and that judge gave them a rating of a one, two, three, four, or five. Five is the worst, one is actually the best. It's kind of like golf. Uh, but these guys uh, did a fantastic job. Really, these kids that earned these medals did it kind of all on their own. I pulled them out for what we have, it's called tutorials, and they just independently practiced. I had like 60 kids in there just working on stuff and, and practicing, and they did a great job working on on their own. But to recognize some of these students, uh, receiving a second division rating, we have Carly Gramley. You can clap this one, yeah, sorry. Morelia Estrada Fuentes. Dylan Shackelford. Bryce Hutchins. Cooper Kendall. Sullivan Shepard. And Xander Gomez. And you guys can sit In first division, we've got Sullivan Shepard. He did two things, so I already called him twice. Uh, Carson Palladino. <laughs> Zoe Jimenez. <laughs> Kira Ferguson. <laughs> Brooklyn Poe. <laughs> Yuri Lagunas. <laughs> Miley Woods. Jaylene Strang Trejo, <laughs> Ruby Diaz, Jaylee Bonner, Hector Hurtado, Jose Maldonado, Tanner Myers, who's not here tonight, I'm so. Ashley Wynn, and Kenzie Payne. Okay, so now, sorry. They did a fantastic job, so I'm really proud of all of them. They did great. Our next song is called Lowrider, made popular by the war, arranged by Michael Brown.
All right, we have one more song for you. And I do want to thank you guys so much for coming out tonight. I also want to thank our uh, administrators, our teachers, and our staff members that have come here from Kirksey. I appreciate their support tremendously. Uh, and it's so nice to have a staff that likes to come up to these events uh, and enjoy spending time watching their students perform in uh, aspects outside of their classroom. Uh, I also want to thank you guys, parents, uh, so much for your support and your continued support for this program. Uh, I could not have done this without you guys. Uh, I know that it's, it's a lot of work and, and it seems like I'm a crazy person for wanting to work with middle school kids with giant noisemakers in their hands. But you guys do an amazing job as parents of uh, holding these kids accountable and making sure that they are doing what they need to do for this program. Uh, and they've really grown into some responsible young adults. Uh, and I really enjoy working with them every single day. I, I have not had a bad day with this eighth grade group whatsoever. Uh, and so uh, I want to thank you guys so much for that and your support. And even going through the pandemic and, and really, uh, you know, toughing it out with us. Uh, I know that it was difficult not being able to go to the concerts last year. Uh, but we appreciate your endeavor to support. Uh, and we hope to see you guys support the high school band too. Uh, they have a very robust uh, band booster program. And so if you guys can get involved with that to help out and ease the load on those that are involved with that, I highly recommend it. You'll develop some great uh, bonds and some friendships with these students, uh, even kids that are not even your own. And it's really, really worthwhile. Uh, and it's cool to see them grow up. And you only get four more years with these kids. So take advantage. As much as you may think some days you're like, oh, I can't wait for those four years to be over. Uh, really, it goes by super fast. Uh, and so really take it all in and be a part of their lives as much as possible. That would be my recommendation to you. So, uh, with that being said, our last song is one of the songs that we were going to take to Branson. Uh, actually, we did take it to Branson. This group uh, got second place at our Branson competition, so round of applause for them. What's amazing about these kids, like you didn't see it, and I wish that you could have, but they, <laughs> we got off the bus and I was like, we have five minutes. We have five minutes to warm up and then we're supposed to be on that stage. And they got their instruments out as fast as possible. They trucked into that band room that was literally like, I don't know, it looked like a closet. Uh, it was so small. We barely fit in there. Uh, all of our ears were bleeding because we were all just, I said, warm up. We don't have time to do anything. Just warm up on your own. And they did. And it sounded like a freight train in that room because it was so loud because there's so many kids crammed in there. And then we trucked it on the stage. The percussion were frantic trying to find all their stuff. And they were like, had to make multiple trips. It was a madhouse. But these eighth graders were so good about it. They walked in there and they just meant business. And I didn't have to worry a thing about them. And uh, it was just amazing to see their efforts for that, that, uh, that day. And then we had a great time at Silver Oak City. So it's been such a joy working with these kids. And I, I'm so sad that I only have two weeks left with them. Uh, but I am very, very happy that I get to work with them in high school too. So this is our uh, last song. It's called The Last Ride of the Pony Express, uh, arranged by David Schaefer. <laughs> 